In today's video, I'm gonna be using only AI tools to create a best-selling t-shirt design for my print-on-demand business. It's going to come up with everything from the concept for the shirt to actually the graphics and the design of the t-shirt. And then I'm actually gonna use AI tools to write the title, the description, and all the information for my actual listing. AI tools are definitely going to change the game when it comes to print on demand. They are an amazing way for sellers to not only make better products, they can help you be faster at designing, they can help you come up with better ideas and niches, and they can ultimately help make you more money. So it's really important that you're starting to learn about these tools and see how they can help you in your print on demand business. So if any of that sounds interesting to you, stick around. I'm Hannah, and and on this channel, I share about all things print on demand and making passive income. So if that is something you're interested in, make sure you subscribe down below for new videos every single week. Now to actually come up with the concept and phrase for my t-shirt, I am going to be using the tool ChatGPT. This has so many benefits and uses for so many different online businesses, but especially print on demand. I'm gonna be asking ChatGPT for about 10 different phrase ideas to actually put on my t-shirt, and I'm going to make myself stick to using one of those. So let's hope that we find something good. Now, what I found that with ChatGPT, the more specific and tailored your question can get, the better results you're going to have. So if you ask it something really broad, Broad, the answer you get is going to be broad, but if you can really niche down and even add some additional context or information, you are going to get really good results. The niche that I decided that I want to kind of go with and see if ChatGPT can help me find a good phrase for this is going to be the broad niche of gender reveal parties. So this is something I've talked about before is a really great niche to target. Right now in the spring, we're seeing so many gender reveal parties and this is going to just continue on throughout the year. So it's a really great niche to target. But again, you're going to want to kind of sub niche that and get even more specific. So this could be thinking about who is the person that is wearing this gender reveal shirt. Maybe it's a gender reveal shirt for an aunt or a grandma or a cousin or the big brother of the new baby. Or you can even take it for the theme of the party. So maybe they're having a beach themed gender reveal. You can put all that context into the question that you're asking chat GPT and it's going to give you an even better result. So I'm going to start out asking for a couple different phrases to chat GPT. When we get to 10 different ideas, we're going to pick the best one and just go with that. Now, if you've never used ChatGPT before, it is really simple. You're just going to create an account on OpenAI. Sometimes when you do try to log in, it's going to tell you that the server is full and you can't use the program right now. And what I found that is if you just kind of keep refreshing and trying to log in again, eventually you're going to get on the platform. You don't need to sign up for any of their premium accounts. You will be able to use this program just on their free basic one. So I am logged on to my ChatGPT account and I'm going to just start thinking of a question that I'm going to ask this about a gender reveal shirt. All right, so after thinking for a minute, I asked ChatGPT the question, give me two t-shirt phrase ideas for a gender reveal shirt a grandma will wear to a beach themed gender reveal party. So I tried to get really specific. Let's see what this comes up with. Ooh, okay, so it gave me two ideas. So the first one is life is a beach and now I know whether I'll be building sandcastles with my grandson or granddaughter. Already that is totally out for me. It's way too long to be a good t-shirt. So let's see what the next one is. All right, secrets revealed. I'm going to be a grandma of a little surfer dude or dudette. I really like this. I think that we definitely could tweak it and just say something like secrets revealed, boy or girl, or secrets revealed, dude or dudette. So that is a great option. Now I'm gonna tweak this a little bit and see if I can get even more specific or just tap into a little bit of a different niche within the gender reveal space and get some more options. All right, so this next one, I asked it to give me three t-shirt phrase ideas for a mom at a gender reveal party with a sports theme. All right, so we have team pink or team blue. Either way, I'm MVP of this pregnancy. Again, I think that is an awesome concept. I definitely would just shorten it up a little bit just to fit more on a t-shirt. So you could say team pink or blue question mark, but mom's the MVP. And then the next one is a game on. It's time to reveal whether I'm having a little quarterback or cheerleader. So again, good concept. I would just shorten it probably to quarterback or cheerleader. And then the third one is a let's play ball. Soon I'll have a little slugger or softball player on my team. Again, take the same concept and just do maybe slugger or softball player on my team. Chat GPT, it doesn't always know exactly what is going to make a good t-shirt phrase. 
it tends to do things a little bit longer, but I find that you can kind of take the concept and maybe just cut a few words out and you have a really good idea. But you know what? Let's see if we could even just get it to refine this a little bit. All right, so for this one, I asked it for a six word phrase to use on a t-shirt for a dad to wear at a gender reveal party. All right, this one, I already don't love it at all, but it says bows or balls, let's find out. I think you could do kind of like a sports or girly one. Um, not my favorite, but let's see if we can find something else. So we already have six options here. Let's look for maybe four more. So this one, I asked it to give me four short phrases for a gender reveal t-shirts for an aunt and uncle to wear. And then I really like how this kind of split up all of the different options into both aunt and uncle. So this one is I can't keep calm, I'm an auntie or uncle. Pink or blue, I'll spoil you. Boy or girl, I'll rock your world. Ready to shop wherever you are. Ready to play girl or boy. Niece or nephew, I can't wait. I'm gonna be an uncle. So those are all some good options. But just looking back through these, like I said, I wanna be very hyper-specific, um, especially for when we are going to be generating this AI artwork. I want something really cool to use. So I'm thinking I wanna do the one for the grandma. Secrets revealed grandma to surfer dude or dudette. So we are going to run with that concept and go ahead and head over to Kittle to use their new AI features that are super awesome. So let's do that now. Kittle is one of my all time favorite print on demand tools. They are kind of an all in one suite that has everything from templates to a bunch of different graphics and design features to use to create t-shirts and other print on demand items, as well as some really cool new AI features that let you create one of a kind stickers, t-shirts, anything you can think of, they can help you create that. So I've been loving and using Kittle for a long time. That's why I'm super excited that they are sponsoring today's video. I will have all their information on creating an account linked down below. So I am just logged onto Kittle and what I like to do when I do come up with a design using their AI features, I always like to kind of start with something to begin with. So I'm gonna just take a look at some of their different templates, see if we can't find one of these that is going to work well. So this could be a good option because it's kind of that beachy theme and we'll create a graphic to go along with that. But let's just keep scrolling see if anything else sticks out. This is a really cool surfing one. There are so many different categories and you can search specifically for what you're looking for too, but I think I'm just gonna go ahead and go with this design. Now, what I like to do is I'm usually for creating t-shirts, I'm gonna go ahead and delete this texture that they have there. It doesn't print very well on t-shirts. If you're doing something like a poster or a card, that will look great. We're gonna go ahead and put in the phrase that we're going to use. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and change the text to put in what ChatGPT gave us. I did take out a few words just to make it a little bit shorter, but I am using what they gave me. And I'm just going to make this a little bit smaller to help it fit on the design. And then I am going to add some more text here, revealed. And then what I love on Kittle is they do have really cool distortion feature for all of the fonts. So you can kind of make that groovy wavy text. You can do really fun different features with the text here. So I'm just going to go ahead and kind of distort this a little bit. All right, so that says secrets revealed. And then I'm gonna change this down here to grandma of. I'm actually gonna go ahead and change this font. And then I'm gonna change this one too. I think I like how this looks better. All right, so this is the fun part where the AI really comes into play. So over here on all of the tools, there are so many different things you can do, but we're going to go over here to Kittle AI. And what you get to do is you are going to describe the type of image that you want and you get to pick the style. So they have kind of clip art styles, kawaii style, vector style, image style. They have a whole bunch. So just in the clip art, they have all of these different types of styles. So you're gonna get to click which one you want. I really do like this kind of kawaii one. I think it always comes out looking very cute and works well for t-shirts, but I'm gonna ask it for something that has to do with this. So let's think here. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to look up because I do kind of like the surfing theme is cute pink and blue surfboards at the beach. I'm gonna put it in that kawaii style, have it generate an image and see if it's something that we like. Sometimes you get stuff that doesn't really work and we'll just go back and try again. Okay, I actually really, really love this. It is super cute. It did that kawaii style surfboard here. You can see they have the little eyes on the surfboards. So let's see. What I love that you can do right away when you get this image, see how it has the white background? There is an AI background remover, so you just click that and then it will do away with that background for you. That is super cute. 
So let's leave that here and let's see if we can find anything else to go with this. All right, so I really do love how there's that like wave behind them. So I want to find something that we could use maybe instead of that. So I'm actually, I'm just gonna get rid of that and even get rid of that California. You definitely could look for something more AI generated if you wanted something really specific. I'm actually going to go over just to the elements that they have. You can use any of these on Kittle and I'm gonna look for their waves. Just see if there's anything we could use. Oh, I do like that. This could be really fun here. Let's see. Actually, I think I like this one even better. All right, and then I'm just gonna move that towards the back so we can see what it would look like here. Then I'm gonna change this to white just to see what that could look like on a white t-shirt. To keep kind of with that pink and blue theme, I think that I am going to use this same pink color for the letters. So I'm gonna take the dropper and just kind of experiment with these different pink colors. See if one of these would look better. I really like that baby pink. So let's go with that. Secrets revealed. And then I still like this navy color, but instead of this turquoise, since it's not really in the whole thing, I'm going to use this light blue here. And then this, it's not really popping off the page for me. So I think something that I might do is kind of give it like a shadow. So I'm going to go over to the effects and then I'm just going to change the color of that to this dark pink here. Even though it won't be like a perfect circle, I'm just going to adjust this a little bit to kind of more go around the wave. And then just to make it stand out even more, I think I'm going to change the word dude to be that light blue color. All right, so this is looking really cute. It says secrets revealed grandma of a dude or dudette. And then we're going to go ahead and download this. I'm going to go over to my download settings and then I like to just change it to pixels and then make sure it's at least 300 dpi remove the background and just optimize that quality, download it as a PNG, and then it is ready for us to use. All right, and now to create our listing, I have just headed over to Place It, which is where I create all my mockups for Etsy. They have mockups for pretty much anything you want. So I'm gonna look and see if I can find kind of like a summary beachy type mockup that I'm gonna use for my Etsy listing. So I'm gonna go over to Apparel and then T-shirts. Okay, so they have a category that's summer. I'm gonna go click on that and see what it comes up with. I definitely prefer using just the garment only, but you definitely have lots of different models to choose from. Okay, so I really like this one. It has kind of the flip-flops and the hat. I'm gonna put it on this and see how that looks. All right, so I went ahead and I inserted the image here, and then we can just adjust it and see how that's going to look. I'm gonna go with this one, but definitely I could look for maybe a better one that doesn't have that fold here that kind of distorts the word grandma. But for right now, I'm just gonna go ahead and download that. All right, so I am over on my Etsy listing. I have that mock-up photo here, and I'm just gonna go down, and I already started filling out that title. What I found from experimenting a little bit is Etsy titles kind of have a specific method to them and ChatGPT can't always wrap its head around how to do this. They want to try to add a lot of fluffy language, which it's really important to just kind of use your keywords in the title. So I went ahead and just wrote one on my own. I'm going to have it try and generate a description. So let's head back over to ChatGPT and see if it can write a description for this. All right, so I asked ChatGPT to write me an Etsy product description for a short sleeve t-shirt that a grandma can wear to a beach themed gender reveal party. So let's see what it came up with. All right, so it came up with this. Definitely if I, I'm gonna use this, but definitely if I were going to do this for one of my real listings, I would try to find out what are some good keywords for that gender reveal party and for maybe a beach themed gender reveal and kind of sprinkle them in. But for right now, I'm just going to take that and add that to my listing. I'm just going to go ahead and change a little bit about this. So right here, it says that it reads, guess who's gonna be a grandma? And instead I'm gonna change it to what it actually says here. All right, and then after you fill out all of the other information, you can just publish your design. Definitely ChatGPT and Kittle AI are amazing AI tools that you can use to really scale up your print on demand business, especially with ChatGPT. You definitely have to do a little bit of tweaking to some of the responses, but it gives you a great starting out point. And the Kittle AI program, I can't say enough good things about. It's really awesome for when you're looking for really unique stuff like this gender reveal surfing theme. I don't think that we would have been able to find just a correct element for that. So sometimes you using AI is what you have to do to be able to really sub niche in this. Can't recommend them enough. I will again have them linked down in the description below if you do want to get started. And if you want some other ideas for how to use AI in your print on demand business, make sure you watch this video next. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video.